for the marriages because a lot of people that I, I've been receiving a lot of requests because people uh, uh, telling me and writing a lot of prayer requests that they are struggling with their marriages and yeah. they feel like even they they married but they don't feel the love but uh, you know prayer that we feel love I, I don't I never knew that term that after married and you don't feel love you know and I want you to pray for them as well that you know God give them a wisdom and open their heart and eyes and uh, pray for the people new opportunity. I believe this is the very first show I'm doing in 2018 with you. I want you to pray for the people that who wants to start off and kick off this new year with a great celebration. Come on, Pastor. All right. Lord, I thank you so much for the opportunity just to come into your presence. God, I'm so grateful that we have the opportunity to pray to a God who's alive, a God who is real, and a God who hears us. Lord, there are so many hurting people out there listening tonight and people who have sent in prayer requests and yes. Lord, I just thank you, God, that, that you hold our life in your hands. I thank you, Lord, that nothing we go through catches you off guard. I thank you, Lord, that you know us so intimately. You know us from the, from the very thing that we try to hide God into the thing that everybody sees, you know, everything from the beginning to the end. So God, I just pray that all these people tonight who are sick in their body, that that you would touch their body and that you would heal on people who are struggling with the flu and uh, stomach viruses. Lord, I just speak healing over their body right now. Lord, you took stripes on your back on the Via Dolorosa. You bled and you died so that we could live life and we could live it abundantly so that we could live it whole, that we could be healed. So God, I just plead the blood of Jesus over every sickness out there tonight for people who are watching, people who are listening, and people who are so desperate for a touch from you. God, I just speak healing over marriages. I pray that people would just humble themselves yes. so that at the mighty hand of God, so that so that you could do a work that no man could do. Lord, I pray that you would go to places and go to people's homes who have given up on you, who have given up on their marriage, who think that it's way too far gone, that God, that they're not in love anymore and they think the grass is greener somewhere else. Lord, I pray that there would be a spark of hope in their life tonight. I pray that, that you would give them hope tonight after hearing our testimony. In Jesus' name, Lord, I just pray for the... Lord, I think going on right now in Pakistan I pray that you would I just sense in my spirit fire and oh, I yeah. just I just sense fire just flooding all over that nation the fire of oh, the yeah. Holy Spirit the fire oh. of the Holy Ghost to go all over that nation of Pakistan Lord and in every Muslim Muslim person who in and, and believer who does not um, understand yes. the mightiness of Jesus Christ Lord that you would reveal yourself to them by signs, wonders, and miracles in Jesus name, in Jesus name. And, and Lord, for whatever reason you have, have been calling me to Pakistan, Lord, I pray you'd make a way where there seems to be no way God and open oh, doors yes. that no man can shut oh, Lord, yes. so that I could bring hope and I could bring a, a life to oh, that yes. place in Jesus shut. name. God, I just shut. decree shut. and I shut. declare shut. right shut. now in Jesus name that every prayer request that we've brought before you, Lord, is going to be completed tonight. I thank you for, for people whose children are overseas, for ch people whose children are in the army, who are, yes. who are in the armed forces. Lord, put a hedge of protection around oh. them right now in Jesus' name. Hedge of protection around every person serving our country, our great country, in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, that you would bring them home safe and that you would comfort mothers and fathers who have children who are fighting for our nation. Now, God, I just give yes. you all the glory for everything you've done in my life, Lord, everything that you've, you've accomplished, everything that you've done for these people who are listening, who are watching tonight. God, we give you praise. We give you glory. There is nothing too difficult for you. And I thank you, Lord, for whatever they're believing for, that they're going to get it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Wow, I just feel the anointing of God. Let's everybody who are watching us right now, I will Amen. ask you to stretch your hand. If you uh, towards Pastor Hope, you're going to pray for her as you're going to move from South Carolina to California. Let's ask for protection. Let's ask yes. for open doors. Let's ask for a spirit of God to, to uh, move along with them as they're making uh, their way from South Carolina to uh, California. And also Thank let's you. pray for the children. Let's pray for the staff. Yes. Let's pray for the people who are helping them. Let's pray 
for the finance. Let's pray for everything, you know, that may the God's uh, goodwill be with them. May God's uh, protection, yes. power, anointing and uh, to be with them as they transition from South Carolina all the way from uh, South Carolina to California. Let's pray right now. Yeah. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this wonderful opportunity. We thank, thank you, you for Lord. Pastor Hope. We thank you for her life. We thank you for the protection, God. We thank you yeah. that whatever you've done in their life and what you're about to do, we thank you in advance, God. We ask your anointing, the power yes. of God, the Holy Spirit, guide them, lead them, direct them, and help them make decisions, right decisions, yes. right wise decision in the name of Jesus. God, yes. I ask you as they transition from South Carolina to California, may the Spirit of God go yes. before them and the Thank burning you, fire of Holy Spirit, every single conspiracy of enemy yes. burn and bind and may the Holy Spirit continue to lead them as God led Israel Thank out you, of Egypt into a promised land. God, I believe that this is a promised place that they are going to. I believe it, God. It is, there are going to be many uh, people that who's going to be against it. But, but God, you go against them. But God, all the conflict you resolve in the name of Jesus. I pray Thank for you, Pastor Lord. Hope. I pray for Pastor Ron, God, in the name of Jesus. God, help them. Help them, yes. help them, help them from east, south, and yes. west, God, from all places to help them. God, open doors more, yes. more in Jesus' name. Open, open doors, doors of finance, God. Open doors right now in the name of Thank Jesus. You, Where are they going to stay, the God? I ask your anointing. May the Spirit of God dwell in this place. May the Spirit of God overshadow in the name of Jesus, that condo that they're going to see. May the Spirit yes. of God be living there already. May the angels of God, God yes. guiding those places right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. God, we Jesus. pray right now in the name of Jesus. Jesus said, whatever you ask by my name, it will happen for you. And we receive it by faith right now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Yes. Wow, wow, wow. So thank you so much, everybody, for coming on. It is honor. It is in my privilege to have specially guest uh, Pastor Hop on the show. And uh, for those of you who are watching us, you know, uh, talking about her life, uh, some of the trips, some of the adventures that's going to take place in their lives, it is amazing and very encouraging. So Pastor Hop, uh, I'm going to have you say a final word of encouragement for those people. That Absolutely. Um I would just encourage you, you know, Philippians 1, 6 says that I am confident in this one thing, this one thing. The Apostle Paul said, you know, how many other things could he have said? But he said this one thing, that the work that God has started in you, oh. he will be faithful to complete the work. Don't look to the left. Don't look to the right. Don't look at what's going on in your finances. Don't look what's going on in your marriage. Don't let it stop you. Don't don't let your kids get you all jangled up and confused <laughs> and derailed and, and distracted. Yeah. The work that God has started in you, he will be faithful to complete the work. You are going to do everything that God has assigned you to do. You're going to have everything that God has assigned you to have. You're going to be everything that God's assigned you to be because greater is he that is in you than he that's in the world. You've got the God of the universe. You have got Jesus Christ who raised him, who was raised from the dead, living on the inside of you. Living on the inside of you. You are powerful. You are anointed. You are special. You are a conqueror because Jesus lives on the inside of you. So the work that God has started in you, he will be faithful to complete it. You be encouraged tonight. You be encouraged that your best days are your, your greatest day. Your best days and your greatest days are ahead of you. They're not behind you. They're ahead of you. It doesn't matter how old you are. I hear people saying, but I'm 60 years old. It doesn't matter. These could be the greatest days of your life. You don't have to be 21. You don't have to have a pocket full of money. God lives on the inside of you. And your greatest days are ahead of you. In Jesus' name. I believe oh, it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. I wow, believe wow. it. I believe it, too. Thank you, everybody, for coming on. And it has... If God can use Pastor Hope, God can use you yes. as well. You know, greater Amen. days that is ahead of you. Just uh, hang in there. Just hold tight to the promise of God. Because I believe the promises of God will fulfill in your life. It's just a matter of fact of time. It's a matter of fact of it's not about yes. how old are you, what you've done, and where you've been, and what had happened, or what could have, would have. Forget about all that. So let Give uh, the steering 
of your car to God. Let him drive you. Let him yes. take you to places. Let him do the work in you and uh, around you. And he will make it right for you because he is a faithful God. And he is hey, right on yes, time. He is. He's right yes, on time. Yes, he is. Woo! Yes, he time. is. All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching Late Night Talk Show with us all the way from Greenville, South Carolina. One and only, Pastor Hope Carpenter. Thank you, everybody, Thank for you, coming Pastor. on. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you for coming on, Pastor. We are looking Thank forward you. to God bless that. you. God bless you. Good night, everybody. Good night. That was Pastor Hope Carpenter all the way from Greenville, South Carolina. And I am so encouraged. I am ready to run the race of faith because I am so pumped up. I am so running in faith because this incredible woman of God just inspired me. Oh, my God. She inspires me. If you have any prayer requests, simply go on adnanministries.org. You can submit your prayer request. We would love to pray for you and keep in touch with us as I take off to go to Pakistan in March. And I am believing God that God actually going to do something amazing in Pakistan. Continue pray for Pakistan. Pray for everybody. I love you all. Thank you for coming on. Have a good night.